what I'm looking at here is the HTML that I want to get my JSON data into. So I've essentially taken the example file from the filament groups uh, download and I cut out the stuff I didn't need and I just got the stuff that I wanted. So if I go back to my page, I know that I can template my data just like this. What I mean by templating data is as I am iterating through my Facebook share search results, um, I can add HTML elements to those results really easily. Now, let's be clear about something. This technique has basically some criticisms, and, and not wrongfully so. Now, if you consider the separation of style from, from presentation, that's the big thing about keeping your CSS separate from your HTML. Well, this logic also falls into JavaScript and HTML, JavaScript being the logic, HTML being the presentational elements. Now, with, with that fundamental issue at hand, uh, when you're doing a bigger program, something that may have a lot of templating and a lot of this kind of stuff involved, it's not a good idea to template data this way because it quickly gets messy. Now, the flip side of it is that for smaller implementations, um, I don't see it that bad to do it this way because if you have to introduce a whole new you know, JavaScript library to your document, you're just adding overhead to the document. And, and also, if you're just starting off and you're new, it may be just another obstacle or hurdle in your way to accomplish a goal. With that said, we should review how we can do this in the best practices approaches. And the way to do that is to find a templating engine, a, a, like a JavaScript library that has the logic in there and then allows us to learn its syntax and apply it to our code. And uh, just with that said, if you Google something like JSON templating or uh, templating engine, you're going to see a couple of results for different things. Tempo is one of them. I know there's uh, pure templating is another templating engine that it says, uh, if you kind of look, doing the same thing. It's helping you generate HTML from JSON data. Um, pure is a great one, but probably the big daddy currently is Mustache. And Mustache gets its name from the syntax that, that it uses, which is this curly brace. And obviously, they rotate it a bit over here to make it look like a mustache. Um, if you Google mustache.js, um, one of many search results you're going to find is their GitHub page, that the opening page looks like this. And if you click on JavaScript, it's going to take you right to their repository where you could link to the, um, the GitHub page or rather the GitHub hosted version of Mustache. 